of inspiration from Swami Vivekananda. I have faith in my country and especially in the youth of my country. My hope is in you. With an immense amount of feeling and enthusiasm in the blood will come heroes who will march from one corner of the earth to the other, preaching and teaching the eternal spiritual truths of our forefathers. And this is the great work before you. Each one of you has a glorious future if you dare believe me. Have tremendous faith in yourselves. Have that faith, each one of you, in yourself. That eternal power is lodged in every soul and you will revive the whole of India. Aye, we will then go to every country under the sun and our ideas will before long be a component of the many forces that are working to make up every nation in the world. We must go out. We must conquer the world through our spirituality and philosophy. There is no other alternative. We must do it or die. Now, for that I want young men. It is the young, the strong and healthy, of sharp intellect that will reach the Lord, say the Vedas. I will tell you in plain language that you work best when you work for others. The best work you ever did for yourselves was when you worked for others. This life is short. Vanities of the world are transient, but they alone live who live for others. The rest are more dead than alive. Be not afraid of anything. You will do marvelous work. The moment you fear, you are nobody. It is fear that is the great cause of misery in the world. It is fear that is the greatest of all superstitions. And it is fearlessness that brings heaven even in a moment. All power is within you. You can do anything and everything. Believe in that. Do not believe that you are weak. Stand up and express the divinity within you. Therefore, arise, awake and stop not till the goal is reached. Thank you. Namaskar. Swami Vivekananda Chintanegadu O Nanna Priya Sutare Shakti Hagu Pragatiye Jeevanada Lakshana Parakramada Sanketave Shakti Jeevan the Dyotakawe Shakti Baravase Yakuruhe Shakti Arogya the Lakshanawe Shakti Ashtayeke Yene in Uttama Vichara Galibeo Avella the Pratikawe Shakti Sadan in the Manasu Shakti Purna Vagiru and Tenodiko Nina Matu Galeli Kurtigalli Sada Shakti E Chimutirali Nanu Durbala Nanaka Yeli Enaditu in the Helikolutale de Re Manusha Kaila Gadavano Agutane Kasakinta Kade Agutane Papa Vendere Matenala Yella Durbale the Bava Negale Papa Dvesha Asui Droha Swarta Sankuchitate Dukka Sankatagaligella Manu Durbale Ve Karana Manu Durbalia Rude Durbale Galemba Maha Papa Vano Metinillo even in the Manasan, no hour is a yen then the go of a Kasha Maricota Beda. Nana leap, para cramatumbi condide. Nana buddhi, a tenth stiravagide. Yenuta, Shakti Akuritu, Bahavisu. Shaktanagu. Upper me the Shakti Samartia. Nino Ladagide emba Vishwasa Vidali. Yari get an ameletanege Atma Vishwasa Vidu di lavo. Avane nastika. E. Rude adorable lavemba Sammo hini in the Horaba. Yet they do. Nirbhitanagu, Baladyanagu, Yella Honegarikeno, Nina Hegelamele Hotuko, Nina Bavisha the Nirmapaka, Nine and Dutidiru, O Simhagale, Yet Deliri, Munda Baniri, Nivu Kurigalemba Brahmeno, Kitogeri, Nivu Amara Atmaru, Mukta Purusharu, Yendendigu the Niru, Nivu Dehavella, Jada Vastugalella, Abugalige, Adhina Ruella. Abugale, Nimage Adhina 
ಓ ಯುವ ಶಕ್ತಿಯೇ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಮಸ್ತಿಷ್ಕವು ಮಾಂಸಖಂಡವು ಸಮಸಮವಾಗಿ ಸದೃಢಗೊಳ್ಳಬೇಕು ಉಕ್ಕಿನಂತಹ ನರಮಂಡಲ ಸುತೀಕ್ಷ್ಣ ಮಸ್ತಿಷ್ಕ ಇವು ನಿಮ್ಮಲ್ಲಿದ್ದರೆ ಸಮಸ್ತ ವಿಶ್ವವೇ ನಿಮ್ಮ ಪಾದಗಳಿಗೆ ಮಣಿಯುವುದು we will now have a kanara song on song vekananda by shri nagendra sir this song has been composed and set to music by shri nagendra sir himself viveka hai viveka hai vishwa vijeta ವಿಶ್ವ ಕೆಲ್ಲ ನೀ ವಿವೇಕ ವಿಶ್ವ ಮಾನವ ವಿವೇಕ ಹೇ ವಿವೇಕ ಹೇ ವಿಶ್ವ ವಿಜೇತ ವಿಶ್ವ ಕೆಲ್ಲ ನೀ ವಿವೇಕ ವಿಶ್ವ ಮಾನವ ಕೈಯ ಕಟ್ಟಿ ಕಾವಿಸುತ್ತಿ ನಗುತ ನಿಂತ ನಿನ್ನ ಭಂಗಿ ಕೈಯ ಕಟ್ಟಿ ಕಾವಿಸುತ್ತಿ ನಗುತ ನಿಂತ ನಿನ್ನ ಭಂಗಿ ನಮಗೆ ದೀಕ್ಷೆ ನೀಡಿ ತಿಂದು ವೀರ ಸನ್ಯಾಸಿ ನಮಗೆ ದೀಕ್ಷೆ ನೀಡಿ ತಿಂದು ವೀರ ಸನ್ಯಾಸಿ ವಿವೇಕ ಹೇ ವಿವೇಕ ಹೇ ವಿಶ್ವ ವಿಜೇತ ವಿಶ್ವ ಕೆಲ್ಲ ನೀ ವಿವೇಕ ವಿಶ್ವ ಮಾನವ ಜಡತೆ ನೀಗಿ ದೇಶಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಏಳಿಯದ್ದೇಳಿ ಎಂಬ ನಿನ್ನ ಸಿಂಹವಾಣಿ ಹೊತ್ತ ಯುವಕ ದಂಡು ನಾವು ಜಡತೆ ನೀಗಿ ದೇಶಕ್ಕಾಗಿ ಏಳಿಯದ್ದೇಳಿ ಎಂಬ ನಿನ್ನ ಸಿಂಹವಾಣಿ ಹೊತ್ತ ಯುವಕ ದಂಡು ನಾವು ನಿನ್ನ ಸಂದೇಶ ಹೊರತು ಅನ್ಯ ಚಿಂತೆ ಮಾಡೆವು ನಿನ್ನ ಸಂದೇಶ ಹೊರತು ಅನ್ಯ ಚಿಂತೆ ಮಾಡೆವು ನಿನ್ನಾಣೆ ನಿಂತ ನೀರಿನ ಚಿಲುಮೆಯಾಗೆವು ನಿನ್ನಾಡೆ ನಿಂತ ನೀರಿನ ಚಿಲುಮೆಯಾಗೆವು ವಿವೇಕ ಹೇ ವಿವೇಕ ಹೇ ವಿಶ್ವ ವಿಜೇತ ವಿಶ್ವ ಕೆಲ್ಲ ನೀ ವಿವೇಕ ವಿಶ್ವ ಮಾನವ ಸೋದರ ಸೋದರಿಯರೆಂದು ಶಿಕಾಗೋದಲ್ಲಿ ಎಂದು ವಿಶ್ವ ಭ್ರಾತೃತ್ವ ಸಾರಿದಂಥ ಭರತ ಗಣ್ಯ ಸೋದರ ಸೋದರಿಯರೆಂದು ಶಿಕಾಗೋದಲ್ಲಿ ಎಂದು ವಿಶ್ವ ಭ್ರಾತೃತ್ವ ಸಾರಿದಂಥ ಭರತ ಗಣ್ಯ ನಿನ್ನ ನೋಡಿದಾತ ಭರತ ಖಂಡ ನೋಡಿದಂತೆ ನಿಜ ನಿನ್ನ ನೋಡಿದಾತ ಭರತ ಖಂಡ ನೋಡಿದಂತೆ ನಿಜ ಭರತ ಧರ್ಮ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಕ್ಕೆಲ್ಲ ನೀ ಮೂರ್ತ ರೂಪ ಭರತ ಧರ್ಮ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಕ್ಕೆಲ್ಲ ನೀ ಮೂರ್ತ ರೂಪ ಭರತ ಧರ್ಮ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರಕ್ಕೆಲ್ಲ ನೀ ಮೂರ್ತ ರೂಪ ವಿವೇಕ ಹೇ ವಿವೇಕ ಹೇ ವಿಶ್ವ ವಿಜೇತ ವಿಶ್ವ ಕೆಲ್ಲ ನೀ ವಿವೇಕ ವಿಶ್ವ ಮಾನವ ನಿನ್ನ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಕೇಳಿ ಕಲೆತ ನಾವೇ ಧನ್ಯ ನಿನ್ನ ವಾಣಿಯಂತೆ ನಡೆವ ನಾವೇ ಮಾನ್ಯ ನಿನ್ನ ಧ್ಯೇಯ ವಾಕ್ಯ ಕೇಳಿ ಕಲೆತ ನಾವೇ ಧನ್ಯ 
ನಿನ್ನ ವಾಣಿಯಂತೆ ನಡೆವ ನಾವೇ ಮಾನ್ಯ ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಘಟನೆ ಅಮಿತ ದೇಶ ಸೇವೆಯತ್ತ ಪಥ ನಮ್ಮ ಸಂಘಟನೆ ಅಮಿತ ದೇಶ ಸೇವೆಯತ್ತ ಪಥ ನಿನ್ನ ಹೆಸರ ಹೇಳಲೊಮ್ಮೆ ಜಯವು ಸದಾ ಸಿದ್ಧ ನಿನ್ನ ಹೆಸರ ಹೇಳಲೊಮ್ಮೆ ಜಯವು ಸದಾ ಸಿದ್ಧ ವಿವೇಕ ಹೇ ವಿವೇಕ ಹೇ ವಿಶ್ವ ವಿಜೇತ ವಿಶ್ವಕ್ಕೆಲ್ಲ ನೀ ವಿವೇಕ ವಿಶ್ವ ಮಾನವ ಕೈಯ ಕಟ್ಟಿ ಕಾವಿಸುತ್ತಿ ನಗುತ ನಿಂತ ನಿನ್ನ ಭಂಗಿ ಕೈಯ ಕಟ್ಟಿ ಕಾವಿಸುತ್ತಿ ನಗುತ ನಿಂತ ನಿನ್ನ ಭಂಗಿ ನಮಗೆ ದೀಕ್ಷೆ ನೀಡಿ ತಿಂದು ವೀರ ಸನ್ಯಾಸಿ ನಮಗೆ ದೀಕ್ಷೆ ನೀಡಿ ತಿಂದು ವೀರ ಸನ್ಯಾಸಿ ವೀರ ಸನ್ಯಾಸಿ ವೀರ ಸನ್ಯಾಸಿ ನಮ ಶ್ರೀಯತಿರಾಜಾಯ ವಿವೇಕಾನಂದಸೂರೇ ಸಚ್ಚಿತ್ ಸುಖಸ್ವರೂಪಾಯ ಸ್ವಾಮಿನೆ ತಾಪಹಾರಿಣೆ ಧಿಯರ್ ಸ್ವಾಮೀಜೀಸ್ ಮೆಂಬರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಸ್ಟಾಫ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದ ಸ್ಟೂಡೆಂಟ್ಸ್ ಹಾರ್ಟಿ ಗುಡ್ ವಿಶಸ್ ಟು ಯು ಆನ್ ದಿ ಆಸ್ಪೇಷಿಯಸ್ ಒಕೇಶನ್ ಆಫ್ ದಿ ಜಯಂತಿ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ವಿವೇಕಾನಂದ ವಿ ಹ್ಯಾಡ್ ದಿ ನ್ಯಾಷನಲ್ ಯೂತ್ ಡೇ ಆನ್ ಟ್ವೆಲ್ತ್ ಜ್ಯಾನ್ವರಿ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಟುಡೇ ಈಸ್ ದಿ ಆ್ಯಕ್ಚುಲ್ ಬರ್ತ್ ಡೇ ಅಕಾರ್ಡಿಂಗ್ ಟು ದಿ ಹಿಂದೂ ಕ್ಯಾಲೆಂಡರ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಫ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ವಿವೇಕಾನಂದ ಟು ತ್ರೀ ಪಾಯಿಂಟ್ಸ್ ದೆನ್ ವಿ ಟ್ರೈ ಟು ಕ್ಲೋಸ್ ಇಟ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಮೋಸ್ಟ್ ಆಫ್ ದ ಥಿಂಗ್ಸ್ ವಿಲ್ ಬಿ ಫಾರ್ ಯು ಟು ಥಿಂಕ್ Swami Vivekananda, in India at least, is considered as a youth icon or a model for the youth, young people, a role model. There are reasons for that. Swami Ji achieved, please listen very carefully, Swami Ji achieved even as a young student. he achieved full human development these things we have to remember and ponder over that what is that full human development achieved full human development he himself says what is that full human development afterwards he says when the head heart and hand h h h head heart and hand are fully developed not in the physical sense thinking feeling and willing head thinking heart feeling hand willing to do the right thing great things when these three capacities or faculties are fully developed then a person can be called to have achieved full human development that is the aim of education full human development you all know that swami ji went to america to participate in the chicago parliament of religions when he stood on that world stage he was just 30 years 30 and a half only 30 years a young man of 30 years and he became world famous world famous because he had the capacity he had built up the capacity rather many of us may be having certain capacities we don't build it up we don't develop we don't use it but swami ji consciously developed that he had the capacity to reach that height and more importantly dear students he had the capacity to digest that name and fame how much name did he get 
वर्ल्ड फेमस हाउ मच फेम डिड ही गेट वर्ल्ड फेमस अंटिल द प्रीवियस डे नो बडी न्यू हू दिस अनोन मॉन्ग फ्रॉम इंडिया वॉज ओवर नाइट पॉप्युलैरिटी हाउ मच पॉप्युलैरिटी वर्ल्ड फेमस he had the capacity to digest this name and fame in kannada hesuru kirti hesuru kirti everybody wants recognition first of all we should have the capacity for recognition so that others will recognize my capacity more importantly i should have the capacity to digest that recognition or name and fame otherwise i will lose my thinking i will become very egoistic and from next day people will not respect me they will not like me swami ji had that he himself said if anybody tries to imitate me going to the west he'll be ruined he'll be ruined if anybody tries to imitate me such was his conscious development now how swami vivekananda even as a young narendra prepared himself for this great task given by his master by his guru shri ramakrishna that itself is a subject of study subject of thinking and subject of reflection all of us should do this dear student this is a occasion when you have to remember this how swami vivekananda developed from a ordinary young boy like you how he developed to become world famous that we will have to study from his life history from his biography deeply we have to study we have to think we have to ponder over that one thing we see in the young narendra in young narendra or young swami vivekananda he was uncompromising with respect to his ideals uncompromising with his ideals whatever ideal he took up he was uncompromising he wanted to do it 100% he did it 100% whatever ideals he took up now young narendra's interest in knowledge his desire to know the truth truth is god or paramatma or parabrahma or the reality his interest in knowledge his desire to know the truth and also importantly the will to do good to humanity the will to serve humanity are all ideals for all of us ideals for the youth this should we should not forget they are all ideals for us how that desire for knowledge hunger for truth and the great desire the great heart to serve all people to do good to all humanity that is again a matter of deep study you all know how swami vivekananda addressed first time addressed the world parliament of religions five immortal words you remember you remember five sisters and brothers of america that address itself created a charm in the whole assembly we should all know that the assembly consisted of the best brains of the west not simply people from the street best brains best best intellects from the west they were all sitting there 5000 or 6000 people just these five opening words resulted in an applause clapping for two full minutes and nobody asked them to clap applause before swami ji began his speech applause during his speech he had to stop two three times and applause loud long applause at the end of his speech now the question is what is this charm in the personality of swami ji which the western people found when they saw him for the first time heard him for the first time what is that charm what is that attraction what is that power we have to think is it muscle power is he a military general no is he some scientist no what is that charm what is that power that is what we have to deeply think how is that narendra developed into swami vivekananda and become a, became a world conqueror in one stroke it is said in one stroke he conquered everybody without harming them he conquered them only goodwill only great thoughts only inspiration they were all simultaneously inspired to applaud 
they don't know why they are doing it but they are doing it unknown person comes and simply addresses sisters and brothers of america do you think they are all fools to clap for 2 minutes and there are other two three people who also addressed like the sisters and brothers they did not receive such applause but when swami ji uttered these five words it was an electrifying atmosphere electrifying personality on the platform that is where we have to think what is that which is the greatest power in the teachings of swami vivekananda we have given holiness is the great power everything else quails before it that is the power of holiness it was as though the inner self what we call atma was shining through him casting an influence of on all those people who had assembled there whoever heard swami vivekananda the second thing i wanted to tell you you all know you may be also one among them many people know only few things about swami vivekananda or to be more particular they know only two things about swami vivekananda first one he spoke at the parliament of religions what he spoke not many know opening speech 3 minutes and later four five times he also spoke about hinduism about vedanta all those things they know that he participated in the parliament of religions next thing many people know next thing they know is swami vivekananda was a patriotic monk do you all know not many of you know patriotic monk deshabhakta sanyasi deshabhakta sant these are the two things they know we should also know that swami vivekananda was a great spiritual leader not an ordinary leader he was a spiritual leader it is the spiritual leader alone who can do maximum good to humanity all of us should understand this it is a spiritual leader alone who can do maximum good to humanity because spiritual leaders alone know what is good to humanity bere yarigu gottilla olle edenu yen helbeku janakke ella janarigu olle edagbekar yen helbeku gottilla yarigu the spiritual leaders alone know what is good to humanity and secondly they are selfless they are capable and they are the real inspirers of humanity that is why a spiritual leader alone can do good to humanity and maximum good to humanity we said two things people generally know one is about swami ji's participation in the parliament of religions which we have just touched upon second is about his patriotism now coming to his patriotism swami ji's patriotism that is that is love towards his motherland which was his motherland india was his motherland india was his passion sister nevedita says india was his passion nothing else but india was his passion swami ji's patriotism was deep rooted we also feel proud some some indian achieves something we also feel proud yes we are swami ji was much much deep rooted how much deep rooted mahatma gandhi ji says i have gone through the works of swami vivekananda and after having gone through his works the love that i had my for country has increased a thousand fold just by reading swami ji's works mahatma gandhi ji's patriotism increases thousand fold how much should be the patriotism of swami vivekananda that is how we have to understand ಅವ್ರ ಪುಸ್ತಕ ಓದಿದ್ರೆ ಇವ್ರಿಗೆ ಸಾವಿರ ಪಟ್ಟು ಜಾಸ್ತಿ ಆಯಿತು ಅಂದರೆ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ವಿವೇಕಾನಂದರಲ್ಲಿ ಇದ್ದಂಥ ದೇಶಭಕ್ತಿ ಯಾವ ಮಟ್ಟದ್ದಿರಬಹುದು ಹಾಗೆ ಭಾವಿಸ್ಬೇಕು ಆಲೋಚಿಸಬೇಕು ಸೊ ಹೀಸ್ ಪೇಟ್ರಿಯಾಟಿಸಮ್ ವಾಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಡೀಪ್ ರೂಟೆಡ್ ನಾಟ್ ಓನ್ಲಿ ಪೇಟ್ರಿಯಾಟಿಸಮ್ ವಾಸ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಟು ಎ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ ಕ್ವಾಂಟಿಟಿ ಬಟ್ ಇಟ್ ವಾಸ್ ಡೀಪ್ ರೂಟೆಡ್ ಬಿಕಾಸ್ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ವಿವೇಕಾನಂದ ನ್ಯೂ ಇಂಡಿಯಾಸ್ ಸ್ಪಿರಿಚುವಲ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಕಲ್ಚರಲ್ ಗ್ರೇಟ್ನೆಸ್ this is very very important dear students he knew the spiritual and cultural greatness of india that is why he said india is great not simply because he was born in india yes we are born in a country we should love that country but swami ji's patriotism was very deep rooted one incident when he was returning to india his motherland in 1897 after his first visit to the west when he was about to start from england some one of his western admirers 
asked him beautiful question swami ji you are returning to your motherland how do you like your motherland after experiencing the glorious and powerful west for last 4 years swami ji had seen india do you know he had seen india he had traveled all over india and then he had seen the west he had compared the person is asking swami ji how do you see your motherland how do you like your motherland after seeing the glorious and powerful west for 4 years what must be the answer any ordinary person if he were in swami vivekananda's position he said west is so great india is all poverty and this one so many defects so many weaknesses what swami ji said he is historic india i loved before coming to the west he starts like this india i loved before coming to the west after seeing the west the love that i had for my country or he says india i loved before coming to the west now the very dust of india is holy to me not only india the very dust of this land is holy to me it is a tirtha tirtha means pilgrimage center nanna bharata tirtha kshetra whole of india is a pilgrimage center for me before coming to the west i loved my country but now i understand the real greatness of india whole india is a tirtha now the question why should a sanyasi be patriotic sanyasi is supposed to be a vishwamanava he should love all whole world all people he should love why is that swami vivekananda telling i love my country so much of patriotic feeling towards the country somebody asked swami vivekananda the same this same question swami is it correct for a sanyasi to be patriotic what would be the answer swami vivekananda says if a person cannot love his own mother how can he love others if a person cannot love and respect his own country how can he love all what a marvelous answer so many things to think you have to deep, deeply think if a person cannot love and respect his own mother how can he respect others if a person cannot love and respect his own country how can he respect love and respect all so this is about the patriotism of swami vivekananda coming to the last idea about swami ji's charming personality one of the admirers of swami vivekananda in the west during one of his lecture programs swami ji has been has been invited to a lecture program all the audience are seated swami ji is called on the stage there are other people organizers on the stage and whole hall is full one of the admirers he had known swami vivekananda he had been attracted to swami vivekananda's personality he questions himself he questions himself what is making swami vivekananda attractive when he goes to the stage when people look at him or when i look at him he is so attractive what makes him attractive or what makes him stand out among others there were some people on the stage many people in among the audience what is that that makes swami vivekananda attractive stand out andre gotagutha ond pratyekavagi oh ivaru obbru pratyekavagi eno vishesha kaanthadalla ivaralli visheshate kaanthadalla ivaralli pratyekavagi ivaru ond special a kaanthadalla eno that person also got a feeling like oh, swami vivekananda appears very special what is it he questions himself he asks himself is it his height 5 feet 9 inches or 5 feet 8 and 1/2 inches then he himself answers no there were men who were taller than him is it his build 85 to 90 kg 5 feet 9 inches imagine that figure was it his build then he himself thinks no there were men better built than him then what was the attraction something very very attractive something out of this world something unearthly that is what is called magnetism of the personality 
magnetism of the personality you are not trying to be impressive but you are impressing we are not trying to be impressing we are impressive so that was the magnetism of his personality as though as i told you the inner self was shining through his figure that was the charm and for those who heard swami vivekananda seeing is one that itself is a great influence great experience but for those who heard swami vivekananda it was truth that he was speaking it was the truth of his message that impressed them and it was the breadth of his message yava sankuchitatenu illa adralli no narrowness in the message it was the breadth of his message that impressed them and swami ji's message appeals to our intellect and also the heart that is why all of us should study his biography first seriously and then go to his teachings also then you will understand the power of his personality last swami ji was greatly interested in education because he had seen in india because of the lack of proper education because of lack of proper education we are unable to progress what was swami ji's idea of education what was the aim of education what actually is the aim of education without waiting for you to think i will just mention swami ji said we want education along our national lines what is india indian culture indian spiritual heritage along that we should be studying don't simply bring ideas and culture from the west and flood this land you bring ideas but we have to assimilate it in our own way along the national lines our culture our heritage our spirituality keep them intact let them be the foundation and learn western science and vedanta coupled with we have seen in the teachings of swami vivekananda western we want western science and vedanta isn't it that way he wanted everything that is good but don't lose your line if you lose your line that is the line of least resistance our spirituality our culture our heritage that is the line of least resistance because we are born into that we are groomed in it if you lose that you are nowhere you are neither in the west nor in the east hold on to that education along national lines and then he says we want character building education man making education nation building education from character comes person from person comes nation man making education can you remember man making education sorry character building education man making education and finally nation building education nation building education when swami vivekananda was in america as a guest of some admirer some little children were at home he was interested in what they study what little children study in america and he also came across a book called most of you some of you must be knowing alice in wonderland have you heard of that book it's a children's comic book alice in wonderland if you see if you see now you will not be very it will not be very attractive because it is about a child's imagination swami ji was so much impressed with the book at, at the same time he was full of for the book for alice in wonderland for little children at the same time he was unhappy because students or children in my country do not get to read or even see such books it was full of only imagination a child imagining that he will fly in the sky he will go here but our children are not getting such books where the imaginative faculty of children are groomed or developed it so happened you have heard about this amar chitra katha series amar chitra katha indian book house the couple who started that amar chitra katha the indian india book house they were actually inspired by swami vivekananda i have heard from one of the senior swami ji they went into one of went to one of our ashrams in himalayas maybe mayavati taking with them the complete works of swami vivekananda read them got inspired came back and in bombay they started india book house how swami vivekananda inspires who me inspires amar chitra katha has been from then on very very famous giving cultural values to children and anyway, last thing shri ramakrishna used to call narendra dhyana siddha nitya siddha dhyana siddha and nitya siddha dhyana siddha means adept in meditation nitya siddha means ever perfect ever perfect and 
if somebody criticized narendra in front of sri ramakrishna he used to say what is this you are doing shivaninde shivaninde you are criticizing shiva sri ramakrishna knew who actually narendra was he himself did not know sri ramakrishna had told him the day when you know who you are you will drop your body you will give up your body the day you know who you are he was the incarnation of lord shiva sri ramakrishna knew that do you remember the prayers of bhuvaneshwari devi to lord shiva that a son be born and shiva himself a eh? uh, incarnation of shiva sri ramakrishna also used to address narendra as kamala lochana here the eyes are closed you should look at swami ji with his eyes open it is like shaped like the petal of a lotus therefore sri ramakrishna used to call him kamala lochana anyway swami vivekananda's concentration one incident and then i finish swami ji was in belur mat i think it was 18 1900 his very belur mat was just then started his very close disciple a sanskrit scholar very close disciple sharad chandra chakravarti he was with swami vivekananda and uh, a new set of encyclopedia were brought was brought to belur mat this sharad chandra chakravarti sees that new shining 10 volumes of uh, encyclopedia and he just remarked swami ji was just there he remarked oh it is very difficult to master these books even in one life one whole life if you study also you will not be able to master swami ji heard it what do you mean i have read six volumes you can ask any anything from that disciple was surprised then swami ji said ask ask you ask anything from the first six volumes or five volumes the disciple wanted to test swami ji and he asked so many things from various things from six volumes and swami ji actually <coughs> quoted the encyclopedia exact words and he was surprised he said swami ji only you can do it only you can do it then swami ji says no ordinary people they waste their mental energy they waste their mental energy if the mental energy can be conserved conservation of energy you know if it can be conserved if it can be disciplined it can be mastered on another occasion swami ji had said i don't read word by word like you he was a master he was a master i don't read word by word like you initially i used to read word by word like you then sentence by sentence paragraph by paragraph page by page book by book first few lines of the book and last line and last few lines of the book he says i can understand the thought current of the reader i know what ideas are there over so that was the great great capacity of swami vivekananda at the same time that is a intellect capacity at the same time very very sensitive heart very sensitive heart not crying because of difficulties or challenges very sensitive heart means again one day in belur mat 2 am midnight past midnight 2 am swami vivekananda got up from his sleep his sleep broke actually he awoke and then outside his room there's a long veranda he is walking in a serious mood he is walking swami vignanananda ji another brother disciple he heard somebody is walking at this midnight hour he came out and saw swami ji swami ji was in a different mood then he asked swami ji why are you walking here could you not get sleep uh, any problem no no oh, his name he used to call him as peshan swami vignanan ji no peshan i was sleeping but suddenly i i awoke because i felt some some pain somewhere far away many people are in great pain that i am feeling i don't know where but they are in pain that broke my sleep i am walking here I, therefore swami you can that become a little restless only this swami vignan ji consoled and swami ji okay now you please sleep he could not understand whether it is true what has happened to swami vivekananda next day the news came some place very close to fiji islands how, how far it is from india you can understand how far it is from calcutta <coughs> belur mat in fiji islands there was a volcano hundreds of people have died thousands have been wounded and lost home and hearth that pain of those people swami vivekananda sleeping here his heart could catch that 
how sensitive his heart was to human suffering not only a great world conquering monk his heart was very very sensitive to human suffering that is why he wanted to do good to humanity serve humanity see that they are all happy so that is how he started this ramakrishna math and ramakrishna mission atmano mokshartam jagat hitaya cha that is the aim with this conveying a good wishes and praying to the great swami vivekananda for his blessings and guidance we close with the shanti mantra om shanti 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 hari hi om tat sat shri ram krishna arpanam astu please yes.